Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today working on my Ranger 6x6 here and I got something that's uh, kind of bringing out the kid in me. Um, I picked up a, a plow for this thing. We got uh, the mount for the front and then we've got the actual snow plow which I went with the, the KFI uh, plow and um, I'll link this kit, uh, picked it up off, uh, off of eBay there. Uh, the push tubes are in this box here, I haven't opened that up yet. But 72 inch uh, plow, uh, it's powder coated gray, kind of wish it would have been black, but um, comes with uh, the shoe kit, which I was uh, surprised by that when I opened the box. But anyway, I'm going to focus on the the mount uh, first it does use two uh, factory mounts problem is one of mine uh, is not uh, it, the bolt rusted or something and the threads are gone but um, you got to do two more holes up here on the top side and I don't have those in mine I don't know if the newer ones have that but I'm gonna have to drill two holes there which I'm not real happy about that because I got this my bumper uh, uh, raptor line beautifully and once you start breaking it then um, you know it starts peeling usually but I guess it is what it is um, some of you are probably wondering why do I got a plow for my for my ranger I've actually never had a plow I've had quite a few UTVs rangers I've never gotten a plow for any of them and basically the, this is just for fun. Like I said, kind of bringing the kid out in me. Um, I My love for plowing actually started on a uh, Polaris Sportsman 500. I had a had a plow on that, like I don't know what it was, probably like a 48 inch or something. I plowed everything I could find with that uh, four-wheeler and that little blade. And like I said, that's kind of where my love for the snow plowing started so um, figured why not get one uh, get one of these plows for my rangers uh, the videos seem to do good my plowing videos so um, what the heck so let's uh, get that mount I gotta get it up there and we'll see what we gotta drill and, and get this uh, installation started Okay, so I got my holes drilled and I got that uh, front mount bolted up and there's an integrated uh, two inch receiver on that thing so um, I'll probably get a shackle uh, to put in there and then probably uh, run my winch down to it um, when I'm not plowing so probably won't be unbolting that um, it doesn't really mess up ground clearance, but I can see how maybe that uh, two inch receiver could get hooked on something, but um, I guess if you know it's there, it ain't so bad. Actually pr probably provides more protection than, uh, than uh, hurting. But anyway, um, got, the, uh, got the blade out of the box. And this thing is, is heavy duty, guys. I mean, it's, uh, it's heavy. It's a lot heavier than I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of lighter weight, but um, it, it, it's a pretty beefy plow, I got to say. 
Uh, there's the uh, push tube right there. Getting ready to uh, attach this to the blade. And you do that with uh, this hardware right here. Um, you got this carriage bolt that's gonna go into this hole, this square hole right there. You got this bushing that's gonna go in here uh, like that into this area right here. And then uh, the tapered side is gonna go towards the square hole in the, the push tubes. Then you got a, a nut and a, and a washer. So I'm gonna hook that up, get that tightened down, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm gonna install the springs. So you got two springs, you got two eye bolts. I believe that's what they call them. Then you got uh, four nuts, four washers. So we're gonna install these. Gonna put a nut here, and you put a washer. Bring the blade towards you. You want these? It's, it's loose, so as you can get them. So just, so just get that bolt. And just get the nut started on there. Do the other side. Same way. So now I gotta install these, or this Allen, these Allen bolts and a nut. I gotta install that into one, there's six pre-drilled holes here. And the reason I got the blade down here is because I'm fighting against this spring. There's six holes, you gotta determine what you want uh, your attack angle to be and then install the bolt accordingly. Uh, I don't really know what I need. I might play with that. I'm gonna put it in the middle there and we'll see how that works out. But uh, this just uh, this adjusts your tack angle of the bob. It adjusts the attack angle of your cutting edge. The more aggressive, the more aggressive you are with that, the better you are. You're gonna scrape like uh, pavement, but the more aggressive you are, it's gonna go after like gravel really bad. So you can uh, you can adjust that. To what you need for your needs. So one last thing I gotta install on this plow. Well, actually, I don't have the the uh, skids the the skids on there. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, guys. There's two bolts. If you can't figure that out, you shouldn't be assembling the, the rest of this uh, plow. But I've got the uh, pole plate for the winch to hook to. Now that can be hooked four different positions on here, depending on I guess. Um, how you want to pull it or where your winch is at or whatever, but I'm going to actually install mine and then I'm going to see uh, where the best place to run my winch is and then I'll install it. It's got um, 
uh, two carriage bolts and then there's nuts underneath it obviously so um, like I believe uh, down here is one position I think right here is one position up there is another position so I'll uh, hook mine up and see where the best position for my uh, plow is so before I hook it up I'll show you the pins pretty heavy-duty pins uh, I'm gonna slide them in and then you lock them in with these with these clips here okay so I got her installed first look with the uh, plow installed I went with that position right there for the lift why did I do that I don't know I feel like it's a good angle for the the, the winch there and I feel like pulling it from here is stronger than pulling it from there um, that's why I went with it there I don't know guys I'll have to play with it just like you'll have to probably play with your machine and figure it out uh, I tightened up my tension spring bolts uh, there it's really on the lowest tension it can be again I don't know if that needs to be tightened up I think it said for every quarter inch turn um, you go on those on the nuts there is um, four or eight more pounds of tension again guys you're gonna have to play with yours if it starts tripping a lot I guess you'll have to uh, tighten them up but um, yeah it's uh, again uh, it's not a lightweight plow and getting it getting it hooked up was uh, a little bit of a chore for my back but um, I've got my my skids on my shoes again that's two bolts if you can't figure that out guys um, and then you gotta you gotta put the spacers you know you gotta put your spacers on depending on how you want uh, you know your, your cutting edge to be if you want the shoes lower than the cutting edge or if you want it um, you want the cutting edge to scrape into the, the pavement good you're probably going to want to just use the cutting edge um, again trial and error here gonna have to figure it all out on my big plow I usually uh, raise the shoes up and then um, I, I, I lower the shoes usually in the beginning of the year and the end of the year when the ground is soft but again this is a UTV plow guys I gotta play with this thing I really don't know what it's gonna do okay guys final shot of the plow I got my flap on I think they, they recommend you turn this thing around and, and uh, it like makes the blade taller uh, it's like uh, 16 inches tall the blade is and I don't know I, like I said I gotta play with this thing we'll see what happens I, li I don't like the flap sticking up I think it looks like there's something wrong uh, with it flap sticking up but I'm gonna I'm gonna run it with that it's a heavy plow I can see that it pulls the ranger down a little bit got three positions so We'll see, I guess. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully uh, I can find some place to test this thing before we get some snow and maybe I'll get some footage, but I guess guys that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you.